The more you use your email account, the more you'll find yourself exchanging multiple messages with someone. Using the reply function in Outlook 2016, you can respond directly to a particular email. You can even forward an email to another individual. So if I would like to reply to this email here on the right hand side, I have two options. I can simply go up to the top toolbar and select reply. Or from the email itself, you'll notice in the top left hand corner, you have a reply option. If I select reply with my mouse, I'll be brought to an email template. As you can see, the to category in my email has already been filled out since I'm replying to Marcus North. You can also see that the subject line has also been filled out with an RE next to it. This RE means reply. So it keeps the same subject line that Marcus sent to me, but he'll know it's a reply because it has the RE in front of it. So I can simply write in the body of the email here. And then once I've completed my email, I can select send here in the top left hand side. I can also see in my email box here that I have replied to this email because there's a small image here just above the time with an envelope and a back arrow, which means I've already replied. If I would like to reply to an email with multiple recipients, I can select the email in my inbox and then above my email here next to reply I have the option for reply all. So if I select reply all with my mouse you can see that the primary sender was from Marcus North and there was many other people in the two category that are also included in my two category. So my response will go to all of these individuals. If I don't want all of these people in my email, I can simply exit out and reply only to Marcus. So now I'm going to type in my email here. And then once I've typed it in, I can select send here in the top left hand corner. If I would like to forward or transfer this email to another recipient who wasn't mentioned in this email, I can simply select the forward option in the top left hand corner. You'll notice in the forward option here that you don't have somebody filled out for the to category. Since I'm not replying to people mentioned in this email, I'm going to have to insert the email that I would like to transfer this email to. So I'm simply going to type in the name and then I'm going to select the suggestion below. And you'll notice in the subject line, instead of RE for reply, I have FW which stands for forward. So this person will know that this email has been forwarded from my account to theirs. I can write in a small message and then I can select send in the top left hand corner. So now you've seen how to reply to reply to multiple recipients as well as forward emails in Outlook 2016.